Hello Vault Dwellers and welcome back to the next episode of our Fallout 4 Casual Let's Play. I am here in Sanctuary where we need to build a reflector platform for our trip into the Institute. So let me uh, get our workshop open and build that platform. Alright, I think over here is probably going to be our best place to put it. And this, we're going to be getting rid of that after this uh, little mission is over with. So let's get in there and see if I can get Sturgis to uh, do what he is supposed to do. Well, I need to put a pair of stairs there. Sturgis. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Did you figure out the rest of Virgil's schematics? I think so. Best I can tell until we actually try to put it together. Here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're gonna need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Console, a relay dish, and a beam emitter. Got it. Can you explain how this thing is actually gonna work? Let me break it down for you. There's uh, four main parts to this thing. One, a control console to input the code and process the signal. Two, what he calls a relay dish. That's what intercepts the, uh, the teleporter signal. Three, a molecular beam emitter. Gets pretty technical here, but uh, Looks like this is what translates your matter into energy for transmission. <sighs> Four, the stabilized reflector platform that you already built. That's what concentrates and reflects the molecular beam. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Okay, well... I may need to remove a wall so Sturgis can get over there. For some reason, he doesn't want to pass out the door. And I've been trying to get him to go over there. But it's not been working. So, come on, Sturgis. Come on. There. You have a free area to uh, path out the door with. So, let me uh, get this down. Hopefully this works. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Alright, let's get a generator as well. Because for some reason it won't uh, draw the power that I already have set up here. Oh, wrong one. Uh, let's put you right there alright there we go and right there alright come on Sturgis there we go let's go talk to him again Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Okay, well, come over here. I'm ready when you are. Uh, let's see if he's actually going to path over here. Whenever you're ready. 
Yeah, I think so. I'm kind of locked in place now, so hopefully this works. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute, what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. If you say so. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Oh, Hold good. on to your butt. Oh, good, it worked. Yay! Hopefully we end up in the right spot, though. Oh, and it looks like we did. Yeah, yes. Alright. Well, let's see if we can uh, get this uh, hollow tape loaded in and get what Sergis needs. A network scanner. And initiate scan. All right, and we'll just take that out and back out. And now we are free to look around up here for right now. Hmm, okay. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay, well... Institutionalized, huh? All right. There we go. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific very personal reason. You are here for your son. Okay. It's like we're going down the rabbit hole, or up the rabbit hole, as the case may be. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Sean, where is everyone? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? 
father! Sean, honey? What do you want me to do? I don't know you. Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? father I didn't say anything about taking him. Alright. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father. <laughs> That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... as you are a parent to your son. To Sean. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers, and answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son... you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? I take you. Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. 
And you've... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Really? For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen right. or heard. I know I can't <clears throat> convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now... After all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here in... in the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? So right now we need a couple of things from in here. We need the FEV and there's a magazine and there's a gun I want to pick up and I want to loot the place dry. So 
for now we're gonna say yes but then we're gonna get ourselves kicked out all right thank you the Institute is now your home as much as it is mine please take some time get to know it meet the people you'll be working with you want to introduce yourself to the division heads dr. Fillmore in facilities dr. AO in SRB Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay. So... We are not actually, I don't think, going to do those. Where are we at? We're up in his bedroom or in his room, aren't we? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'll run around, I'll grab the magazine, and then I'll uh, pause the recording so that I can uh, come in here, loot everything that I can get, and... Uh, yeah, I go from there. So we need to go and find this magazine. And I think I remember where it's at. Not in the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. Can we... No, that's an elevator, isn't it? Yeah, that was the elevator, I think. I think we can get... Nope. That was where I wanted to go. All right. I wish I could take us floofy towels with us, but sadly we cannot. Alright, uh, let me get us out of here. What's over here? Ooh. Another room. Okay. Oh, I didn't want the folder, but... You know how it goes sometimes. You just start clicking and... Ooh. Well, we'll just take that. Help ourselves to whatever we can get. Anything over here? Yes, we will take that bottle of bourbon. Clean coffee cups. and Nice. Preserve cigarettes. what's here. Aha! This is where I need to be, so I think what I need to do is oh, go up. No, Are that's the director's room. Can you not see the grime and dust? My apologies, sir. I was issued a defective cleansing unit. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report Director's this. recordings. We can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Yes. Let's see, director's comments. Look, director, I'm going to make the same recommendation I did last time. We did everything we could. Four years dedicated to preserving this Commonwealth provisional government. You've seen the same reports I have. It's falling apart as this fast. We need a plan for what happens when that fall is complete. I know some of the other divisions have suggested we just cut off all contact, hide underground, and pretend nobody's home. That would, in my opinion, be a mistake. We can't just give up on these people. And with the Android program, we don't have to. We'll soon have the capabilities to deploy androids to the surface in great enough numbers to maintain order. Just, just think about it, all right? Keep it in mind moving forward. Said a lot of scientific words, but I don't think he knew what he meant. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll go find him later. Thanks, Eve. Now it's one of these. Out here that uh, 
we need to go through. Yeah, I went through that, right? Nope. I think it might be down, not down there. Let me go down a floor. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm just here to uh, get some new decorating ideas. Dad says I'm as good as he is with computers. Good. That one over there, not that one over there. So it might be down another one. Even though I'm a sick, Alan and um, Liam have made me feel like a part of their family. Little kid. Ooh. Can we go down another one? We can. Alright. Hello. Uh, over here and down. I always forget where this crazy thing is. Um, not on these. Okay. Well, I will. Uh, might be over there. Or those over there. Hmm. All right. Let me see here. It was up and back over. Didn't think those tables had anything on them, but I will look again. Up oh, there it is, right over there, I think. Yes, nice. there we go. So now we need to go and find the FEV virus. And that is bioscience, I think. Hi, miss. Hello, Alice. Um, get all the way down here. So supplement advanced bioscience, I think. This is the way we want to go. Hmm. No, I don't think it's back here. Although it could be. Just another. All right, what's over here? Got it. Oh, yeah. yeah, just the room. Okay. Think we got it. Nothing in the trash can. All right. Keep moving at these doors. Apparently I found it. So, okay. Well, let's uh, keep moving here. Oh, it's been a long time since I've done this, so I will probably uh, die at some point because <laughs> I know there's an assault run down here somewhere. <gasps> yes. Here we go. Oh, we can get in here. Okay. Nothing really in here. Okay. Looks like we took everything. Can I push the button? 
Oh no. What's the other button do? Ooh, okay. Well, it's a good thing we're not uh, coming back this way. Let's turn off our light. There we go. Still in caution. One more. There we go. I think we're good for right now. Turn our light back on. I can't see a thing. Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, we got storage room. I hear something moving around. Let's see, we can either unlock it or unlock the terminal. We'll take the door. Nice. Oh, yeah. Where is she? See if we can sneak up on her. I don't see her. Oh, come on, where are you? Sensor alert. Oh shoot. Anomaly I knew it. Come on, go. Oh, good. Ooh, we got her. I think it's just the one. Yeah, it's just the one. All right, good. Oh, wow. Sometimes she gets me before I can get her. And like I said, I am looting this place dry, even if I have to come back. Um up to the institute, leave the institute, come back, which would mean I would have to introduce myself to the heads, which, you know, it will not, as long as I get myself kicked out of the institute, um, it's fine. I just don't want to go too far down the institute rabbit hole, um, because we do want to get the Minuteman ending. Now, I do not know if we need to get Dr. Lee out for the Brotherhood or not. Probably not. Um, I think we can, because I'd rather not have to, although we're going to have to work with the Brotherhood to get... Um, the brilliant agitator so I don't know I may have to uh, do a little bit of research I, like I said in the very beginning I have never done the minute minutes the ending so it's kind of why I'm going uh, this playthrough with it all right let's uh, get our sneak back on now I know there's one hallway that's really deadly with the the um, laser turrets. Now, are these these rooms where they were like observation Sweet. rooms? Yeah, they are. I think. Take the fusion cell. Take a coarser. I am not going to be able to carry all these out, but I will make a valiant effort. Oh, yeah, this is it, because it's going to be, uh, oh, cat meat, why? Uh, what was that? 
All right, so we got a sense. So there should be a turret right there. And then there should be one right here. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I didn't get it. There we go. Come on. Do it. Thank you. All right. That was close. Got it. So they were feeding them cat meat. Interesting. Alrighty. I don't really need to go into every single one Sweet. of these, but you never know. Hmm. All right, let's keep moving on. All right, we got a trip wire here. Come on. Oh, shoot. Did not see them. Come on. There we go. Looks like we need to go uh, that away. Nope, that away. All right. Take everything I can get my hands on. here. Whoop. Overshot. Uh, what do we got? Um, there it is. Sweet. The hour, huh? Uh, open the door. Alright, let's keep it moving here. Should be about to the end of this. It's not a very long. Yeah, there we go. Don't think there's any turrets in here. I don't remember there were being any. And we've got Virgil's log. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... I know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. Hmm. All right, and then we had, um, the FEV research notes. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is... Um, August, 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine, with one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that, 
I don't even want to know where this came from. But, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized. But I really do hope that the consequences are understood. Okay, and one other one. This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division. March 22-24. We just received another batch of subjects, but as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board. Exposure to too much radiation. We need something... someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. Okay, well, let's get out of here. All right, it looks like we made it into bioscience, so I think this is going to be a good place to end it for now. I will probably go ahead and talk to the department heads. just to get a little bit of experience here and look up to make sure we are on the right course of uh, action for the Minutemen ending. So for now, thank you for joining me. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one.